Hi, it's John here. In this episode, we're launching a new product using the one printer factory method with the FL Sun T1 Pro. So usually when you have a print farm, you need a lot of printers and a lot of space. So I decided to go the opposite way, running a one printer factory. So here's a breakdown of what I, I mean by one printer factory. If you look at the amount of process you're going to need to equal one FL Sun and how many X1 carbons you're going to need to equal it. So if you start enough print farm from scratch and you don't have that much money to invest to start off, I think this might be an option for you. There is some things you need to know about Delta printers like the FL Sun T1 Pro or the S1 Pro. So on the T1 Pro, there is some small amount of assembly. You have to put it together. Um, the S1 Pro, you do not have to do that. It comes already fully assembled, but it's a little bit more pricier. Um, I will go with the T1 Pro if you just need to start off. Um, there is some small learning curve. Uh, the Delta printers are a lot different from x Core or Bed Slingers. So there is some adjustment you need to do. And also it's a heated chamber. So there might be some difficulties printing PLA. But they do suggest to leave the door open when you print in PLA. And also use the glue that they provide. I mostly print Pat G since my item is going to be used in the outdoors. One day earlier. Thank you to FL Sun for sending out this printer. This is what comes in the bag with it. Very simple to put together. Very straightforward. Design concept. So the design concept comes from a koozie mixed with a fidget toy in the front. I am going to show you guys the internals on the cat design, how it lays out and how we can 3D print it and we can build the brand and sell it. So this is the three dimensional design of the components that we're going to be 3D printing for our fidget koozie. So I do, I do not have a name for it yet. So I'm going to show you guys the design. So one of them has a bearing. This is the handle that goes here. And then there's a 3D printed screw that you push in and, and it all clicks together. I am going to work on branding neck. Branding. So for branding, I'm keeping it simple. Chill folk. I don't know. Keep your drink chill. Folk means people, whatever. I just bought a, a cheap domain on GoDaddy. So here's the logo. So I spent some time working. How is it going to look? It needs to be brand appropriate. And I came up with this. I think it looks good. Um, now we need to build the website. Okay, I'm okay. I'm building the website right now, and I'm gonna show you guys. They made the building the website so much easier. It doesn't matter which person or which service you use. They always have this AI tool. Look at this AI tool. So I wrote here a random text about our design, and they really know what they're doing. The AI. So the suggestion here is spot on. It's really tight. It looks enticing. So I'm going to delete what I wrote. I was just like a base text and I'm just going to copy the AI generated stuff. And then I'll just keep some of the stuff that you need to know, like it's 3D printed. It's made in the USA, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's so much easy to generate something with the AI generated text. And they also do AI images. So uh, at this point, I don't need, I'm just going to leave the base image, but, um, yeah, so pretty simple nowadays to just start a website. Okay guys. So, uh, right now I'm working on building the website. So I found this stock image. It looks pretty cool. I did a tagline and here's our logo. Um, here, this part, I didn't write this. I, um, you just press this AI tool. And they ask you some, it's kind of like chat GPT. They ask you a couple of questions or you can write a couple of um, words and then they'll generate something for you. If it looks good, you can edit it, um, continue or start over. So pretty much it's pretty simple to build a website nowadays. 
there's no excuses not to do this so this is the the prototype that i made i 3d printed this part in pet g because it's going to be in a car outdoors it's going to be in um i don't know in a trail it's probably going to be in front of your house in the backyard or maybe in front of the tv so this is pet g um i print all of these this part all in one shot and then i print this separately i am going to try to figure out to do a file where i print a whole a, a whole setup in one shot but um right now i'm doing these parts separately and then i do these parts separately um it functions as a fidget toy and also as a, like something to do while you're having a drink and hanging out um so all of this is stock photos from the from the uh, website provider um i don't think i need this best seller i only have one product and uh, let me see if i can delete this part here i don't think i need this part what do you do here delete yeah so i'm gonna delete that part i don't think i need it so this is the information so again guys you can just find something and hit this ai tool and they will like generate stuff for you so rewrite text so i have this text here and let me see if i can generate something from it oh actually that sounds oh this is actually pretty good so i'm just going to press use text and it's going to pop it in there i do want to make this part capital made in us okay and yeah, it's pretty. It looks pretty good. I wonder how it's. Hold on, go back. All right, it looks good. Um. Also, guys, when you're doing this website, you gotta make sure it it looks well on the cell phone as well as. So this is the cell phone. How it's gonna look on the cell phone? Most people shop on cell phones nowadays, so you gotta make sure that the website looks very good on cell phone um it's very small amount of people that shop on their laptop or their desktop so you gotta make sure everything looks good on on the cell phone so see look at this this looks weird so i'm gonna see if i can maybe make them bigger no actually smaller don't know wonder if it will look better like that let me see no nope. yeah i think the best thing to do is make him make the text smaller so it looks right there it looks a lot better it looks more uniform so these are things you guys gotta like pay attention because you want to like look professional when you're doing this and you want to make sure that you get that sale at the end you want to convert sales not turn people off so this actually looks pretty good actually and yeah i'm just gonna publish my website and i am gonna run facebook ads and i am going to run instagram ads uh, i don't know if i'm going to do google because this is a very visual product so maybe i'm i'm debating whether i'm going to do tiktok uh, ads but all of this is going to be documented on the channel as part as my brand building part of the, the the channel so i really think this is very cool to show people what do you do to build a brand and 
and how to get sales a lot of people just show just print what you find on uh, files for the 3d printing you, you have to think outside of the box in 2025 and i think combining leather with 3d printer products i think it's going to be really unique and very different and it's going to separate you from your competition because right now everyone with a computer and a 3d printer is pretty much your competition so right now this is the best bet so um stay tuned for the next episode where i'm going to show you how i'm packing my orders and how i get everything done ship out to the customers don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you on the next one